हेलो डॉक्टर्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू आर क्लासेस डॉक्टर स्वर्णा बालाजी ऑनलाइन आयुर्वेदिक क्लासेस टूडेज टॉपिक इज शट क्रिया काला ओके दिस इज द वन विच यू सी इन योर फर्स्ट ईयर शरीय क्रिया दैट इज फिजियोलॉजी एंड इन बाय कमिंग टू थर्ड ईयर इट विल बी सीन इन आर बी वी रोग निदान एंड विकृति विज्ञान एंड वाई कमिंग टू फाइनल ईयर यू विल सी दिस बोथ इन का चिकित्सा एंड इन शल्य तंत्र ऑल्सो This is a most important topic, both in theoretical as well as in clinical approach. How you use your knowledge regarding this Shakriya Kala will be the ultimate aim of learning this Shakriya Kala. In most of the final year examinations, Shakriya Kala in clinical practice. How you apply this Shakriya Kala in your surgical practice in Shalya Tantra. This is the most common thing. which is asked in the examination or else in viva point of view so that you have to be thorough regarding this concept i will help you learning this shat kriya kala in an easy way and how to remember each and every stage i'll deal you in a clear way so what you have to do is listen to this video twice or thrice up to you will become perfect regarding this concept so that by listening this you can attain the complete knowledge regarding this shat kriya kala okay now what is shat kriya kala kriya kala means the time period the time of treatment in the process of a manifestation of a disease is considered as kriya kala as there were six in number it is considered as shat kriya kala okay what are the types what are the stages of shat kriya kala there were six stages they are संचयम च प्रकोपम च प्रसरम च स्थान संशयम व्यक्तम वेदम च ये वेति क्रिया कालमिति ओके द रेफरेंस इज सुश्रुत सूत्र स्थान द फर्स्ट लाइन एक्सप्लेन्स फोर स्टेजेस संचय प्रकोप प्रसर एंड स्थान संशय द सेकंड लाइन विल एक्सप्लेन व्यक्त एंड वेदावस्था द फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स्थ स्टेजेस नेम्स वर एक्सप्लेन इन द सेकंड लाइन इटसेल्फ ओके दीस आर द सिक्स स्टेजेस you will see now i'll explain you what is the english translation of this each and every stage sanchaya means my accumulation prakopa means aggravation prasara means spreading stana samshraya means localization vyakta means complete symptoms will be seen in this vyakta avastha okay finally veda means this is a stage to be avoided as the differentiation of the disease will be seen clearly in this veda avastha and most of the complications will be noticed in the person afflicted with that particular disease okay the doshas will accumulate first sanchaya stage next aggravate prakopa later on spread prasara stana samshraya means the spreaded doshas will localize in a particular area vyakta then the disease symptoms will manifest and finally the veda is the differentiation period of that particular disease now we will see what are the symptoms seen in sanchaya avastha stabdha purna koshtata is vada sanchaya fullness of stomach pitta avastha is pitta sanchaya yellowish discoloration mandoshmata is kapha sanchaya manda cheshta that is the movements will be in a slow condition next prakopa stage aggravation of dosha seen in this prakopa stage in the vata prakopa koshta problems will be seen te tesha prakopa koshta todha sancharanat in the case of pitta prakopa amlika pipasa paridaha amlika amla taste pipasa thirst paridaha burning sensation these were noticed in pitta prakopa kapha prakopa hrudayo klesha acha jayante annadvesha hrudayo klesha heaviness in the cardiac region will be noticed in the case of kapha okay, prakopa avastha okay next prasara avastha in the prasara avastha that is the spreading stage you can add the shloka pittam pangu kapham pangu pangavo maladatavaha vayunayatra niyante tatra gachanti megavat the explanation of this shloka is pittam pangu kapham pangu pangu means unable to walk unable to move pitta and kapha will become unable to move If why not? Three years, three years, three years. 
Pitta and Kapha will be able to move along with that Vayu. With the help of Vayu, the Pitta and Kapha will be moved in a human body. Just like a Mekha means clouds will carry the rain. No, in the same way Vayu will carry the Pitta and Kapha. This explains the Prasaravastha. And the things you will be noticed in that particular Prasaravastha is in the case of Vata, vitiation will be seen in Pitta and Kapha simultaneously. In the case of Kapha Prasaravastha, Arochaka, Avipaka, Angasada, Chaddi will be noticed. In the case of Pitta Prasara, Daha and Suktata will be seen. In the case of Vata Prasara, Koshta Toda and Rukshata will be seen in that particular patient. Next, move on to Sthana Samshriya. The one which you have to add to the Sthana Samshriya is Dosha Dusha Samuchana will be noticed in the Sthana Samshriya. Okay, means Dosha move from their actual site and will be settled in other places and will manifest that particular disease in the other than its normal site will be noticed in the Sthana Samshriya. Vyaktavastha, actual manifestation of the disease will be seen in this Vyaktavastha. Shofa, Atisara, Vidradi, Visarpa, etc. diseases will be seen in that particular patient. Naming of the disease will be seen appropriately in this Vyaktavastha. Vedavastha, here differentiation will be noticed. This is the last stage of Shatkriya Kala. Patient must not give any treatment in this state because most of the complications which may come in that particular disease will be already noticed in this state so that he must be left with no treatment. These are the stages and their appropriate measures, their appropriate clinical features which you will notice in each and every stage. Okay. First one is stage of accumulation, second one is stage of aggravation, third one is spreading or else migration, fourth one is stage of localization, fifth one is stage of manifestation, sixth one is stage of complications or else differentiation is the final Veda Vasta. Okay. What is the utility? You have to know why you are reading this Kriya Kala. What is the importance of learning this Kriya Kala? This you have to know. By knowing this, you can actually the prevent prevent the disease to enter into further stages. You can clear it in a first stage, Sanchaya Vasta. Then it will not move into the second stage, Prakopa Vasta. Like that, in the healing and clearing the disease, this will be helpful. If the disease occur, then with the help of Kriya Kala, it can be treated in the earlier stages. And naming of the disease will be done in Vyakta Vasta. Dosha Dusha Samuchana also will be noticed in Sthana Samshriya. Disease will not prolong into the next state if it is treated earlier. As deeply rooted tree is difficult to pluck or else to remove, so disease is to be cleared in the early stages itself. This is the simile given by our Acharyas. Next, recognizing and enabling the treatment in the first step, starting step will be benefit to that particular patient and it will not become asadhya. In the early stages, it is easy to cure. No, that will be possible if you know the Shatkriya Kala. Okay, next. As large accumulation of water further excessively increases and breaks the barrier so that you have to clear the bar you have to clear that discomfort difficulty in the starting stage itself okay next doshas must be eliminated in the early stages in the left side if you see means what are the causes of all these kriya kala nidana sevana will lead to dosha vaishamya. The vaishamya may be kshaya or else vriddhi. That dosha vaishamya, kshaya or else vriddhi will lead to this manifestation of the disease in these six stages. Sanchaya, prakopa, prasara, sthana, samshraya, vyakta and finally bedavastha. Okay. For this, shatkriya kala will be useful. In the next sessions, we will deal with a particular concept. Usage of this shatkriya kala in Brenner open and on. We will take an example and we will discuss that. By this, this session will be ended. What we have learnt? What is Shatkriya Kala? What is the reference of Shatkriya Kala? What is Prasara? 
and how these Shatkriya Kala will be useful in the clinical as well as in surgical practice. Okay. In surgical practice means you have to clear, you have to make a note that if you didn't cure an ulcer or else a wound in the Sanchaya Avastha means it may enter into the next stage, Prakop Avastha. Like that you have to take an example and must elaborate the example which you have taken. Okay, this completes our topic Shat Kriya Kala in clinical and surgical practice. In most of the examinations, it may be asked for an essay answer or else in the case of Viva also, the examiner may ask you how you can apply your Shat Kriya Kala in the clinical or else in surgical practice. At that time, you have to answer all these things in a concise way. If it is asked in examination based on marks, you have to attempt your answer. Okay, thank you. If this video is useful to you, like our video, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Stay tuned to our channel for more and more updates. In the coming sessions, we will give you a most important topics. And we will provide you clinical approach of our Ayurveda and drugs and prescriptions. Okay. Most of the things we are planning with your support. So what you have to do is share our videos to your friends, juniors or else whoever the Ayurvedic members you know so that you will get the best quality of lectures from our side. Thank you. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need any specific topic means you can comment down in comment section. I will provide you in the next videos. Thank you.